welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope that you had a really nice New Year celebration and a safe one as well. So anyway, today I'm going to show you my top um, 2013 products that I have loved for the most part of 2013. And I'm just going to get started. First, of course, is this one. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. As you can see, it's super worn out because I use this almost, um, not almost every day, I would say like once or twice a week um, because I use this when I want my makeup to last longer and it does make your makeup last longer. I go to weddings, um, parties, night outs. I don't go there without um, using this makeup spray because um, the weather here in the Philippines is so humid. so makeup doesn't really last that long but with this spray um, it will make my makeup last longer like until the wee hours in the morning um, a friend of mine once asked me why is your why is your makeup still intact at 4 a.m. and this is it this is the reason so I love this next um, is of course uh, my Miss Bella cosmetics blush palette I'm not a blush type of person so I don't I don't have I don't own a lot of blushes and um, since I have this um, Miss Bella cosmetics blush palette I don't no, I don't think I you know, I don't buy too much I think I bought like once or twice since 2013 and basically because I just I pretty much use most of the colors here so yeah and I like it because it's they're very pigmented as well and very very affordable and next is of course um, my Benai banana luxury powder as you can see I don't have much left at all because I use this almost every day this is like my everyday setting spray and setting spray setting powder and um, I actually gave a part of this to my sister and to my aunt as well and but still you can see I still have a lot of this and I think I got this around may or april 2013 so a little of this goes a long long way and i might have i might just have to buy another one of these because i might try it out so yeah and then next is something that i don't really show much in my videos or in my blog and it's the what is that <laughs> um shopping relief gel powder gel and i use this as my primer i don't really use face primer almost every day I don't um, just when I go somewhere important or some sometimes when I feel like I have extremely dry skin I use this and it, it has a, a powder finish so it makes my skin um, matte and um, it makes foundation glide on easily so I love this and I use this as primer by the way I don't use this you know <laughs> but anyway I, I think you, yeah you can use this because this is for your inner thigh and bikini area but I haven't I haven't used it so anyway this is a really nice primer and um, I think a lot of other youtuber youtubers have raved about this as well so yeah and this is from my friend Max um, she gave me like three of this because it is difficult to find in the Philippines so thank you Max and then next is um, foundation um, I have this, um, the Avon Ideal Luminous Foundation, and yeah, and um, I love this because it's, they're really nice for every day, and um, you can build, you can layer it on, and it doesn't really make my skin cakey, and it does last long as well, especially for me, I have dry skin, so sometimes some foundation, um, gives me like patches and this one it doesn't and it does stay it is true that it is an invisible coverage liquid foundation because it's it doesn't look obvious at all so I love this and then next are brushes and this one these one are from Beauty Cosmetics I got this along with my Scandinavia setting spray um, January 2013 from a blog contest by Miss Anna Victorino and um, it actually comes in four, but um, I gave my other brush to my sister, and it comes in four. But now you can buy this. Um, it comes in five already. Um, they had the they added a flat top, 
um, angled brush. This one is more of rounded as you can see and they added a flat one so that's really nice and um, this really I use this almost every day as you can see they're all worn, worn out because I use this almost every day for foundation for blush and for concealer so yeah I love this and I think they're like <laughs> I think they're like less than 1,500 maybe a thousand two hundred or maybe a thousand so I think they're pretty um, affordable as well so I love them and they're extremely soft and then Sorry about the rooster. Um, and then for concealers, um, I don't have a lot of MAC products, but I do have um, their the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this one is in um, NW, NW, NW25. And I have the other one. This is the Moisture Select Concealer. And this one is in NW30. And this one I use this for my... Um, I use this for my um, pimple marks because I don't usually have pimples but when I do it they're very red so I use this for spot concealing and this one for my under eye um, they do have like a pink um, undertone so I use this underneath my foundation just to cancel out the pink undertone but it does work well as a concealer especially my under eyes and they don't crease and settle on my fine lines so I love this and um, a little goes a long way so I love this and then for for um, lipsticks I have two Avon lipsticks that I think um, these are these are my most used lipsticks for 2013 this one is um, the Berry Bright from Avon ultra color rich lipstick and it's a really nice fuchsia pink color and it does complement a lot of skin tone, especially my skin tone. Um, I'm a little bit, I'm medium, so um, sometimes pink doesn't look good on me, but this one is really nice. And the next is um, a very bold vintage orangey color, which is the Tangerine Tango. And I use this, um, like, if I want to, when I go out to party, or I just want to create a really nice statement lips, because this is, really really intense vintagey orange color and it's really nice and very moisturizing and they last like they la they last longer because they they stain the lips so yeah i love this and then next is um this one is the color control cc cream from the face shop and i love this it's 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 not oily it's very very matte the finish is very matte and it at first it's a little bit um, lighter lighter on my skin tone but it does oxidize so it does match my skin tone after a few minutes and this looks really nice in powder gaps so I love 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 this CC cream as well and then um, my second to the last last my second to the last product is this um, into it waterproof eyebrow eyebrow color and as you can see I have hit pan on most of the colors here because I use this every day even when I go to the gym because they really last long and it's super super I don't know very nice um, how do I say the the powder itself is really nice I do put a little bit of my Scandinavia setting spray just to make it a little bit I know thicker and a little bit more opaque but it does work well without the setting spray so I love it and I use this almost every day as well and last but not least is um, this epilator um, this is a Remington epilator that I got in New Zealand and I got this for maybe three five dollars because they had the 30% off and it's Oh my gosh um, I use this twice a month at first it's a little bit scary because as you can see they're like blades but they're not so painful at all I would say maybe like on a scale of 1 to 10 it would be 1 to 2 so it's not painful at all and um, it's this is better than waxing so I used to use this on my underarms I haven't tried using this on my upper lips because I'm kind of scared but I use this mainly on my upper arm, my arm, my underarms, and my legs, and my hands as well. And yeah, I love it.
And lastly um, is this Maybelline Hyper Gloss Eyeliner. And this one is this one costs like 300 plus pesos and it's really nice it's a dip eyeliner i never thought that i would like this type of eyeliner um it stays on a lot longer than um, i guess my the sun sun liquid eyeliner so that's why i like this better and um the very very easy to use the brush isn't flimsy at all it's really nice it's small but very i don't know it works well Especially when you make a, a winged eyeliner, it, this makes it so easy. So that's why I, I <laughs> that's why I love this product. So um, those are my 2013 favorites, and I want to know what products, um, the, what products you loved for the year 2013. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much for subscribing and. I hope to see you soon when I make more videos. So thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year and see you on the next video. Bye.